Hi everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about where to buy real Blythe dolls. By real, I'm talking about stock dolls, and not the fakies, not the supposedly factory dolls, not the TBL. I'm talking about Blythe dolls manufactured by Takara Tommy. Now, some of this might be changing in the next few months. As of July 2021, the anniversary doll called 20 Years of Love is the last Blythe doll that Takara Tommy will be manufacturing, and a new company will be taking over. It's not, it's not a new company, but another company is going to be taking over the manufacturing. Good Smile Company will be taking over manufacturing of those dolls. However, most of the retailers that currently sell the Takara Tommy dolls should also be selling these next range of Blythe dolls, okay? Um, obviously, I will keep you informed as I learn information about that, but that's kind of like months and months Let me months just away. put out a disclaimer so. before I get into this about uh, the different places you can buy these dolls. I do not um, work for them. I'm not affiliated with any of these places. I am simply giving you my personal experience. I'm sharing my personal experience with you as far as where I have purchased these dolls at. Your mileage may vary, but I'm going to share with you my experience about where I've purchased them and information about some places that maybe I haven't purchased, but I do know that they have life dolls. Now this is an updated video. I did one back in 2016. Um, I, I might link it below, but it's, it's pretty old. <laughs> at, the po at that point in time in 2016, I had been collecting for about a year. And now, 2021, obviously I've been collecting quite a bit longer than that. So I have more information to provide for you. So that is why I am doing this updated version of that video. I should also say there are plenty of fake dolls too. You know that I do like the fakies as well. And um, so I'm not going to really talk a whole lot in this video about the difference between a fake and a real Blythe doll. I have already done that in another video. I will link that video below. I will also link some other related videos, like there's one where I talk about uh, why I'm okay with fake Blythe dolls. It's a bit of a controversy in the hobby, so, you know, this is my personal opinion. Again, take it or leave it. Okay, let's get into it. Junie Moon is one of the probably most popular uh, retailers, one of the most well-known retailers of Blythe dolls. They have shops actually in Japan, and they have an online shop, both an international version and a uh, Japanese version. Now, this doll here, this is um, Blythe Adores Anna. I'll give you a up close look of, at her. As far as I remember, I believe she is the only, she's the only doll that I think I have actually ever bought from Junie Moon, which is, when I think about that, that's kind of odd because like I said, they're very, very well known. However, I will say their website, when you go check out their website, and by the way, I should mention, I have all of these sites that I'm talking about and some that I don't talk about um, linked below in the description box. You can check out, um, go directly and check them out yourself and see what they have available. Um, but anyway, so Junie Moon, um, they don't have a huge number of dolls. Uh, their inventory, I find to be surprisingly small. So you're not going to go over there and find like dozens and dozens of different types of Neo Blythe dolls. Now you can buy directly from Junie Moon and uh, you know, if sometimes you can buy directly from them, but sometimes you have to, you have to enter a lottery. So this often happens with very popular dolls. That's what I did when I purchased um, this doll here, Anna Sui, Blythe Adores Anna. Um, she was a collaboration doll. She was very popular. She actually happens to be wearing some of her stock right now, which is unusual. I don't, I don't always have them wearing their stock, but for some reason she was wearing hers today. I don't remember why. It's a very, it's a very pretty outfit. I do like, I do like her stock. So, but anyway, so with her, I had to enter the lottery through Junie Moon online and I won the lottery, which meant I was then allowed to buy the doll or pay, and it was a pre-order. Um, mo any of the new releases, you pre-order them ahead of time and then you have to wait a month or two or whatever until the doll's actually out. So, um, so yeah, so I ended up uh, being able to order her and I got her. So, and she's a very, very popular doll now. Um, difficult to get uh, her price increase dramatically. So uh, Junie Moon 
The other thing with Juni Moon to keep in mind is uh, when you do see the prices on there, they're in Japanese yen, so you have to, you know, translate that depending on where you live. If you're not, you know, in Japan, um, you know, change, do a currency, uh, Google the currency so you know how much you're really going to be paying. And uh, you also will probably incur some um, possible transfer fees. Uh, they're usually, it depends. I've never found them to be super high. I think the most I ever paid for a, a doll uh, like that was when I bought a smart doll. I had a $23 fee. Uh, and that's because of the the transfer from funds from uh, the yen to the, to the U.S. dollar. My credit card charged me that. Most of the time I see like a nominal two or three dollar fee on my on my credit card. Also, of course, you have to take shipping into consideration and with Juni Moon until you you don't really know exactly the shipping price until you start checking out, which I find to be kind of a bummer. And that's one reason why I haven't really bought a lot from them. I like to know the shipping ahead of time. Uh, before I'm ready to check out or have more of a feel for it. And again, they, like I said, they don't usually have a huge number of dolls, but you know, it varies. Always check them. They are a very reliable, well-known, established uh, retailer of these Another Blythe dolls. Another very well-known and established retailer of Blythe dolls is a company called CC Toys. They are located in Hong Kong. I have gotten a number of my Blythe dolls from this company, and I've been very happy with their service overall. They, um, you know, when you email them, you hear back fairly quickly. In fact, here's m one of the latest purchases. Uh, this is Zanya Remembers. And I did an unboxing of her recently. So um, she's going to do a spa here. Her, her hair is kind of so-so. So, -so, so I'm, I'm going to be doing a spa with her and I'll film that and everything for you guys probably. But anyway, so CC Toys is pretty much one of my personal go-to places. And that's for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned with uh, Junie Moon, the shipping. The shipping with the dolls at CC Toys is included in the price. So if you go over to their website and you see a doll and say she's priced at $188.85, that's the whole price as far as the U.S. shipping goes, okay? All of that is included in there. So I, I like that. I like that I know right away the shipping. And the shipping, you know, some people can go, well, you know, that's just part of it. But if you're trying to save up for your doll and all of a sudden you get slapped with a $25, $30, $50, or even higher shipping fee, uh, that can be a, a big bummer. To me, again, my personal opinion is I like to know, if possible, what the price is ahead of time, and that includes the shipping. Another thing I like about CC Toys is they tend to have a really large inventory of dolls pretty much all the time. And so now they do, it does change, it comes and goes. Um, for example, the recently, as I'm filming this, um, the anniversary doll was there very, very briefly. I jumped on the pre order, managed to pre order through CC Toys. She has, at this moment in time, I have not seen her return there. But that doesn't mean she won't at some point. Same thing with Zanya Remembers. She was there, then she was gone, then she came back a couple of times. Uh, last time I checked, she actually was there. So, But it's one of those things you just have to check their website fairly frequently um, you know, to see what they have. It does change. The inventory changes on a day-to-day -day basis. But overall, they usually have quite a decent selection of both new releases and older dolls. One more thing about CC Toys, it also has an, an eBay shop, and I have actually purchased dolls through the CC Toys eBay shop that didn't, that doll was not actually in the CC Toys website, so that's another thing, they, they have kind of both. However, most of their inventory is on their main website. Again, I have that linked so below. So another retailer that I mentioned below, I have it linked below as well. But I honestly, I don't have any dolls currently from that shop, even though I have purchased them from uh, purchased from them before. It's called Magna Heritage. From what I remember, one doll that I did get there was Pretty Peony. And I can't remember if I've, I think I've purchased from them a few times and now I can't remember what other dolls I bought from them. But I did remember Pretty Peony. I resold her. She was very cute, but I just, I can't remember why, but for some reason I resold her. Anyway, so they're a little bit different. They have a website. Again, I'll have it linked below, but 
Um, you won't find like prices and stuff on there or they don't really have like a checkout kind of thing. So the best way to uh, contact them and, and hook up with them is actually I have found through their Facebook site. So if you just go to Facebook and Google uh, Magna Heritage, you will find them. They, they're out of Singapore and have all kinds of other dolls, not just Blythe dolls, by the way. And one of the things that I kind of liked about Magna Heritage is that they do not require you typically to buy a pre-ordered doll all up front. They get, do you have some kind of um, deposit you put in and it's a percentage of the doll? So for example, with Pretty Peony, I can't remember how, she was, she was under $200, but I think I had to put down like, you know, $50 or something like that. And then when she was available before they shipped them out, they have you pay the balance. And that was kind of nice because otherwise what you do with with everybody else when you do a pre-order, you pay the whole thing. So if you buy a $200 doll and you're not going to get that doll for two or three months, you still have to pay $200 and wait for two or three months for your doll. I mean, I understand why they do it because they only have so many dolls and you you know, you're you're basically locking in that you get that doll. But but anyway, so that's something I thought that they did, which was pretty nice. And uh, if you if you follow them on Facebook, they will usually say when they have the uh, new releases. And, and you can also just uh, private message them through Facebook and see if they have releases you're looking for. They're very good about contacting you through email and Facebook Messenger. And so, yeah, I have... I heard mixed reviews about Magna Heritage, but my personal experience was a positive Another one. retailer that I have had some pretty decent experiences with is Mandrake. Again, it's linked below. And I got this doll up here. This is Star Dancer. She's clearly not wearing her stock. If you've been watching any of the collaboration videos I've been doing with Dolls Rescue, this is the um, Evil Queen. I have her dressed up as the Evil Queen from Snow White. But, but anyway, this is Star Dancer. I also changed out her hair, her scalp, okay? So she's not wearing her stock. Star Dancer is one of a number of older doll releases I purchased through Mandrake. And with Mandrake, they have, they have a number of stores. So when, when you go to their website, I will say I find their website not uber friendly, but you kind of have to just be, you know, don't give up, okay? It will translate to English if you're not, um, you know, if you need, if you need it to be in English, it could translate. I think it has other languages too, if I remember correctly. If you go to the home page, you could pick which language you want. And the uh, the website is made up of a whole bunch of different stores that they have. So when they have the doll there, you still a lot of times have to wait to hear back that the doll is really actually in stock. Also, a lot of their dolls, some of uh, a good portion of their dolls, from what I gather, uh, are either sample dolls or pre-owned, or they've been there a while. When I say they've been there a while, keep in mind some of these dolls are older releases. So, for example, if you have a doll that's from 2009 and you buy that doll in 2021, that doll's been that in that box since 2009. So, even though it's new in box. Um, it may be a little bit on the, um, uh, how can I say, not super fresh side. And I will give you an example with this doll. So this is Do Star Dancer. I adore her. She took me forever to find. Okay. So I was really, really happy when I saw her available on, um, on Mandrake. But she had a bit of a musty smell. And I got the feeling that maybe that was probably because she was kept in some warehouse somewhere that probably wasn't air conditioned or anything like that. And uh, so, yeah, so I suspect that was the issue with her. And it ended up being okay. I took her stock and I soaked it in some water and vinegar and then it was fine. Now her hair, her hair had a little bit of a, of a smell to it too. I did uh, give her a spa, but her hair wasn't just the smell. Her hair was kind of, um, the ends of it were very dry, and I knew I had this alpaca scalp, so I switched it out. By the way, I should mention I have a playlist with Blythe doll unboxings. If you want to check out all my previous Blythe dolls that I have purchased, I have unboxing videos of all of them. So yeah, Man Mandrake, I would say, especially if you're looking for older releases, is a wonderful place to check out. Just be aware, they usually have some sort of descriptive text that says something like, 
um, you know, older doll or slightly damaged or, you know, dented box or something like that. So they're pretty upfront about the fact that there might be a little issue with the dolls, but I have found some really good releases uh, from them. I've bought um, not only Star Dancer, I'm trying to think what else, Sunshine Holiday, Prima Dolly Ginger, Prima Dolly Ebony, Prima Dolly um, Heather Sky. I, so when you're looking for these older releases, I, I strongly urge you to check out Mandrake. Um, also, CC Toys has some older releases too, but Mandrake seems to me to be, be a better source for the older dolls. So I mentioned eBay a little bit when I mentioned CC Toys before. And it is also, in general, another place if you're looking for stock dolls to definitely check out. However, I will say, personally, I have found that usually the prices over there are a tad higher than I have found if I find another source like a retailer or something. And that's probably because of the, the fees that, you know, the retailers have to pay through eBay. Um, unfortunately, those fees can be pretty high. So... I have found uh, sometimes anywhere from $20 or more, they seem to be a little bit pricier. However, I have had some good luck on eBay. Like I said, I purchased a doll from CC Toys through there. I've also purchased some dolls from other collectors. I managed to get Paradise Girl over there. I also managed to get, um, oh, Disco Boogie. Disco Boogie I got through eBay. I, I ended up selling her. But I did get my Paradise Girl from her, which I don't, I don't have her here. She's in the Curio. And, um, but keep in mind, when you're buying through eBay, unless it is a retailer like CC Toys, uh, you're buying more than likely from another collector or you're buying from somebody who just bought the doll retail and is, is flipping it or something. And so you don't quite have the same sort of buyer protection if something's wrong with the doll as you would with someplace like Junie Moon or CC Toys. And Takara is really not super friendly about returning dolls and so it's not the easiest thing to do. However, if you had some massive problem and you bought a doll from say a collector on eBay who is just flipping the doll versus a a, a well-known retailer like Junie Moon or CC Toys, you're not going to quite get the same kind of customer Facebook service. Facebook is another source uh, that I recommend checking into. In particular, there are a number of doll groups that sell Blythe dolls, and they're basically collectors like me who are selling to other collectors. I have links to a couple of them down below. Again, um, you have to do your, your due diligence I mean, you know, ask lots of questions, ask for lots of pictures, um, you know, be, be kind of wary. If somebody, for example, shows you a picture of a doll and they just, it's, and maybe it's not even a doll that they have, maybe they just took a picture, a stock picture off of CC Toys or something, you know, kind of be aware of that. In fact, you may even say, could you show me other pictures? I, I usually typically do that. I ask for uh, pictures of the doll's body without any clothes on. Um, I want to see, you know, the side of the head to make sure it's all, you know, connected. Um, you know, I'll ask if they've done any work on the doll. Have you ever opened up the head? Um, that kind of thing. But um, I'm showing this doll. This is Roxy Baby. And she's actually um, one of, I think she's the first doll I ever, the first older release I ever bought. And I got really lucky because it was, somebody had her for sale in one of these groups. And I knew this person super well. Even, in fact, this person uh, Jean actually brought me into the world of Blythe. So, I mean, I knew for sure she was a good person to buy from and I got a really good deal on my Roxy baby from her. So, um, so yeah, so just keep, mo I would say monitor the groups and, you know, keep an eye on what's available. Also, just keep in mind, I've also seen sometimes where somebody will have, um, a doll there that they'll sell, but I can find the same doll at Mandrake or CC Toys new in box for almost the same price. So just because it's pre-owned doesn't mean that the person is um, offering you a deal, okay? Just make sure you do some comparative shopping, just like you would All right, for thank you else. so much for stopping by and spending a little dolly time with me. I hope you found this information helpful. If there are any questions I didn't answer in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would put it down below in the comments, and maybe I can do a follow-up video for you. 
Also, if you know of any retailers that maybe I didn't mention, feel free to post them also in the comments below. But yeah, you guys have a wonderful Dolly Day. Please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye-bye.